Hello everyone, welcome to a new episode of the Salah Podcast. I'm really excited to do this and like uh, I'm really I'm really excited to do a new episode of the Salah Podcast. It's been a while that I did a new episode, but it's not been a while that you have seen an episode of the Salah Podcast because I really did it for like a month or uh, two months, like eight episodes or whatever, a weekly, uh, as promised. I always promise that I'm gonna do more content, but this summer ha- has really been so fucking awesome on the channel, uh, like I did. I don't care about, we've seen some traction, we've seen some good shit going on. I don't really care that much about, uh, I do, but it doesn't control what I'm gonna do the response is the the following whatever i don't really care about i want it but i don't it doesn't control me it doesn't give me uh, uh it doesn't i want it to encourage me but if it isn't there i'm doing it without it doesn't fucking matter we are doing it i'm really excited to be like I didn't do a weekly episode since, I don't know, since 2016 or whatever on different channels or since 2016 or 2017, I did some kind of daily or weekly episodes on uh, my Moroccan channel, but it has been a simutu tempo. It has been a long time that I did it. And I was gonna skip this week because I'm really fucking busy. I'm really busy. But I said, like, uh, on a productive day, doing more things is better than doing nothing on a lazy day. So if I'm really busy and I'm doing more stuff, it's really fucking great. It's really good than on a lazy day because I passed some few lazy days in the last week or two weeks. I was a little bit sick and I... I a lot of bad stuff happened but and I messed up kind of messed up my schedule my waking up and and my waking up and sleeping schedule I really got the stuff got a little bit messed up but uh, I'm over it now I woke up early and I'm doing a lot of work and I'm productive and I'm kind of keeping up with all the, the the daily to do to do's and not to do and start and uh, and uh, I mean stuff and tasks and all of the things I was gonna do like uh, a episode about what I'm doing now in the summer what I'm not doing and the school today it, this episode is gonna be the first episode of September like it means a whole summer with the the Salah podcast I'm so grateful and I'm really grateful that I could have done it probably in the next year or in the next few months it's gonna have like few weeks I'm not gonna be that productive or I'm not gonna be that uh, encouraged to do a new episode but the most important thing that I'm gonna try and it's okay if I skipped a few weeks because I have a lot of videos available for everybody to watch already. So it's okay. So before we start, don't forget to subscribe, like, share everything in this description. My Insta, my Facebook, my Twitter, my TikTok, everything is available for you to. Uh, my other channel, my Arabic channel, everything is in the description. So don't forget to check it out. My email, if you have any suggestion, suggest, sig, sorry, if you have any stuff to tell me or suggestions, and uh, you, you spend, I spend the whole day not speaking English, so when I start speaking English, it's a li- when I start speaking English, I have to have like a uh, uh, time to adjust and. Uh, Today we're gonna talk about my uh, my email and my whole information are in the description. So don't forget to check it out. 
Today we're gonna talk about the new episode of the Joe Rogan, one of the new episodes of the Joe Rogan podcast, which is the uh, the Mark Zuckerberg, the creator of Facebook and the founder of Meta and everything, Insta, the owner of Instagram, WhatsApp, and probably a lot of very important uh, other uh, platforms and uh, companies in the world, but. 90% of the time or I don't know 50% of the time that I spend online it is between WhatsApp Facebook or Facebook last few years not that much but between Facebook last we gonna say last two years Facebook WhatsApp and Instagram so I was really grateful to have my favorite entertainer my favorite podcaster my favorite thing to watch to bring and to have a guest that owns probably one of the most smart uh, people alive now and geniuses and really young uh, creator founder of the meta and uh, the most used one of the richest people in the world and was of the most creator and was the most innovators person in the world and meta ah one of the shit that's going on now is metaverse that's been i have been uh, hearing about it for the last i don't know whole year or whatever so um, i was really grateful to watch and i was really uh interchange to watch this great fucking episode between two of the we can say two of the most influential people online in the world. Like we did an episode about uh, Andrew Tate a few weeks ago, and at the time was the most uh, famous person in the world. But with the with the the with the opinion or with the advice somebody i don't know he was banned from all the social media and we you get banned people like him take the decision who's gonna get banned and who's not and uh, one of the last andrew Tate, the last few places that was on it it was uh, the 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 instagram so it was really awesome to see one of the most powerful people in the world uh, do an interview for almost three hours and talk about uh, his new uh, adventures and new creations now uh, the one of the most uh, i don't know one of the most new stuff that he is really he's really like uh, excited about is the new glasses Ray-Ban glasses that they gonna come out in a few I don't know everything about the VR stuff freaks me a little bit in the metaverse I'm really excited to have knowledge and to keep up with the technology but the whole thing about because I spent a few years studying online and it was really fucked up i didn't really like it the whole online stuff instead of the physical uh world the freaks me a little bit like i don't really i'm not really excited about switching our whole physical life to an online life but again uh, this is the technology like a few years ago nobody's gonna believe that we have a device not a few, uh, like 20 years ago, nobody's gonna believe that the humanity has device in their phone, smartphone, that has Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and TikTok, or YouTube, and you can watch Netflix, you can watch movies, whatever, in your fucking phone, and 24 hour for 24 hour next to you, smart, Google, everything, uh, nobody's gonna believe you, like, so, if he says that in a few years we're gonna have the metaverse it's already i think exists but if we're gonna have like the metaverse and people 
interaction between each other more online than in real life i don't know probably it's gonna happen but i'm not really excited about that part but one of the parts that i'm really excited about is the part when uh, he's talking about like glasses glasses that uh, like in 3d uh, interact with the world and like give you notifications from your messages and whatever and uh, and you can like google stuff and see stuff online in your glasses and you can record or whatever that's really awesome like imagine uh, a future of uh, ah a few weeks ago i heard about a new ring instead of the watch that everybody has been using for the last few weeks a few years uh somebody invented i'm not sure if it is facebook or some other company somebody invented like a ring that has all this stuff and more uh, so it's really like sometimes people go bigger like from TVs to TVs in your house and some sometimes people the technology the advancement to the technology go like uh, uh, we, uh, uh, Smaller so sometimes we go this sometimes from a watch that it's already so fucking small to a ring that has all the sensations of your fucking watch and sleep uh, because I have been using watches like this for bands they call them bands instead of watch I had two one in the last year and one uh, I've been using it daily basis since uh, I don't know since two years ago or I don't know so it's really weird to see uh, it's really weird to see that uh, we're gonna start using different technology on a daily basis also, like the glasses, recording, and uh, probably works like Siri with the voice, Siri or Google Assistant or Alexa or whatever, the, it works with the go, uh, voice detection or voice uh, activation. Uh, that's gonna be really cool to try it or VR uh, like it works like VR also, but he had like uh, some uh, Ray-Ban which is a really famous glasses company. He had the mother partners the, So you know that the glasses gonna be awesome, but also the technology which is meta the parts with the technology is meta it means that the glass is gonna be fucking awesome and the technology also is gonna be awesome so i'm really excited to see how this is gonna work out in the world like we've been hearing for the last few years that elon musk is gonna uh start using chips or a chip chip instead of the in, inside of your brain or inside of your hand or whatever that's also really awesome to see not excited to try but the glasses, I'm really excited to try. So, uh, and in the last few years, one thing that they didn't talk about, which is the NFTs. And a lot of people say that the NFTs is a really important part of the metaverse. But the creator of Meta did a three hours interview, never mentioned the NFTs once. Uh, also, with, we've been hearing for the last few months that the NFTs are uh, the not the nfts the ethereum uh, has been uh, the va value to the dollar or the value to the real world has been dropping and doesn't worth uh, it's not worth anything for the last few a few weeks so uh that's really also exciting to hear about so uh not exciting weird because does it really matter to have nfts inside the metaverse or not because uh i'm not really i'm i'm as i think i am more i know more about this shit than the rest probably of 50 or 60 percent of the world but i'm not really in the top 10 people to talk about this shit but it's really awesome to have a perspective uh, so 
what I know about the metaverse or that uh, Facebook changed their name to Meta so they can uh, I don't know they can like uh, do some promo or uh, like uh, promotion to the metaverse which is part of like a virtual reality that we can interact in instead of interaction in the real world or the physical world interact inside the metaverse which is a metaverse uh, instead of uh, but with greater uh, stuff like uh, with greater, with uh, more advanced technology and more advanced uh, creations and uh, new technology and really advanced like technology that we are not gonna see this shit really happening on real, on the real life or on the we're not gonna see the world converting in ten years or. 20 years or whatever but it's really awesome to hear about it really early and like try to think about it uh, uh, objectively think about it in a way that we are not gonna really uh, feel uh, that threatened about it because if somebody is gonna talk about instagram if somebody would have talked about instagram in five years ago his opinion is gonna be really we weird but early if then somebody's gonna talk about instagram now in the form that we have now so that's really awesome to hear about and also uh they talked about one thing that i really care about which is like uh censorship and stuff like that facebook youtube twitter twitter tiktok everything is a private owned companies so when you say that um, everybody is allowed to use it not really everybody is allowed to use it if they respect the norms and the terms and the uh, laws we can say or the policies of the private owned companies that or platforms that you are trying to use so people say we have freedom of speech nowadays because of the internet but instead of the government governments owning the or controlling the media now the media or the internet or the companies facebook twitter uh, or youtube algorithm or uh, censorship or the boards are they now are they have the right to say no to whatever they want and yes to whatever they allowed and no to trump the president or the former president of the United States has been banned, I think, all over the platforms because of misinformation, which is we are not. I am against Trump or like 90 percent or 70 percent of the terms. But who's going to say which is this information is correct and this information is not correct because one of the stuff that really uh, they hate talking about was the vaccine i used to, one time somebody uh, i shared an insta post that i just had my second shot or my first shot of vaccine uh, last year and somebody commented which which type of vaccine did you have you got or uh, which type of vaccine uh, have you used or the the government told, uh, got you which type of vaccine you did uh, 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 and i tried to type the name of the vaccine 
on the in the comment and they didn't let me i'm not spreading misinformation i'm just saying in my city to a person from the same city which type of vaccine do i have and they don't uh, tell me anything and uh, for example if you watch any of al jazeera al jazeera one of the biggest or uh, one of the biggest platforms in the arabic world and one of the most not independent but neutral i think one of the most neutral uh, platforms in the fucking arab world but if you watch it on youtube they give you like a notice this is is owned by the government of qatar that's great uh, great uh, interruption from the owners of the platforms but not allowing me to write about a vaccine that's fucked up uh big but also because a lot of stupid people were talking about no don't do the vaccines it's bad for uh, something and other people were talking nonsense but other people were talking kind of reasonable stuff but they're gonna ban they're gonna get banned on the same level because of the what because because they talk about the same subjects so vaccine was like a, or is probably until now because people probably still getting it is a real uh, a red flag for the posting on social media and he was talking about also like a lot of farms like companies do stuff and political companies like uh, or political stuff or some people like a lot of fake pages and bots this is and also the the this is one of the reasons why Elon Musk a few months ago couldn't buy Twitter or didn't want to buy Twitter because he couldn't wrap his head around the fact that nobody is really uh, sure how many uh how many bots are they on how what is the percentage of the bots that are on twitter or facebook or instagram or whatever and a lot of accounts that only are there to sell you ads or to uh, promote businesses and the algorithm, according to Mark Zuckerberg, the king of the algorithm, algorithm, is talking about like the fact that the algorithm is there to protect the consumer, the client, the person that's using the platform. And also at the same time trying to give him the thing that he is more interested in first. But also, the thing that they didn't talk about. Why you give me the, the thing that I'm not inter I'm most interested about? Because they want me to stay there the most of the time. Uh, uh, the most time possible. More time. And it is about interaction. And it is about you staying there more than uh, somebody else. Uh, the, more than other posts if i see this post because i don't know if you watched a movie has been on netflix a few years ago uh, about the social i think the name was the social dilemma which is the dark side of the algorithm that it is there to keep you from doing anything else and stay as most uh, inside and using those platforms the most you can so uh, the more i don't know what i say most most possible i mean yeah but in general in general it was a such a great episode and i'm really like i'm really i'm really happy i'm excited that i have seen it
and uh, I really love a word when uh, I really love the internet let's just say entertainment online it's such a, a great world we are living in like I know I know I shouldn't I'm I'm so grateful for the the platforms and I don't know I'm really I really love watching the Rogan podcast Joe Rogan podcast and I'm really grateful to have sometimes I go to the rabbit hole and I watch a lot of nonsense it's really good entertainment is good but spending a lot of time on entertainment it's really bad so I try to balance my life and I think I'm doing a good job nowadays. I think I, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. So, uh, uh, thank you so much for watching this episode. Let's wrap this bitch up. Uh, don't forget to watch, uh, to, to like, subscribe, and share. My everything is in the description Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and uh, TikTok. And don't forget to watch the, my other episodes. I have more than 42 episodes available for you. Watch it on the channel. The Salah Podcast is here again to tell you. See you next week, next Friday. This is like probably the 8th or the ninth episode on row every Friday. So uh, for the last two months or whatever. So I'm doing it. I'm giving you content. So don't. Uh, let me da don't watch my shit. Thank you so much for uh, watching this episode. I love you so much, and thank you because this video, because of you, this video was so fucking awesome. Hasta luego. See you soon. Goodbye.